forty to five, commissioner to maintain Australian charities and not-for-profits register information. One, the commissioner is to maintain a register. Known as the Australian Charities and Not for Profits Register, in which the commissioner includes the following information: compilation number five. A, the following information in respect of each registered entity. One, the entity's name. Two, the entity's contact details. Including its address for service. Three, the entity's ABN. Four, the type of entity as which it is registered or has been registered. Five, each subtype of entity, if any, as which it is registered or has been registered. Six. The date of effect of each such registration. Seven, the entity's governing rules. B, the following information in respect of each former registered entity. One, the entity's name. B, the entity's ABN. Three, the type of entity. As which it was registered. Four, each subtype of entity, if any, as which it was registered. Five, the date of effect of each such registration. Six, the entity's governing rules. C, the following details in respect of each. Responsible entity of each registered entity. One, the name of each responsible entity. Two, the position held by the responsible entity in relation to the registered entity. B, information statements given by registered entities under Division Sixty. Except to the extent, if any, that information in an information statement is classified. In the approved form mentioned in Section sixty to five, as not for publication. E, financial reports and any audit or review reports given by registered entities under Division sixty. F, the details of the following matters, including a summary of why the matter arose, details regarding any response by the relevant registered entity, and the resolution, if any, of the matter. One, each warning issued to a registered entity by the commissioner and the division eighty. Two. Each direction issued to the registered entity by the commissioner under Division Eighty Five. Three, each undertaking given by a registered entity and accepted by the commissioner under Division Ninety. Four, each injunction, including interim injunctions, made under Division Ninety Five. Five, each suspension or removal made under Division One Hundred. G, any other information. One, that the commissioner is authorized to collect under a provision of this Act, and two, that is specified in the regulations. Note, regulations made. For the purposes of subsection forty to ten, one may provide that the commissioner must not include information on the register in certain circumstances.